Come on, buddy. Come on, you wanna help me do makeup? Let's go do makeup. <laughs> Hi everybody, we are back. This is actually the first time I have gotten to film since everything with the coronavirus has happened. Um, as I said in some previous videos, I go to school in Texas, but my hometown is in Missouri. So I came home to Missouri when everything happened, thinking I'd be home for like a week. And obviously this pandemic is lasting much longer than a week. So all my things were in Texas and I just got them all back. So my camera is here, my lighting is here, and all my equipment is here. So I'm able to film again. So given that, uh, since this is the first time I've been able to actually film since everything has happened, I just wanna put out there that um, I know this is a really scary time and I hope that anybody who's watching this, if you know me or if you don't, that you're staying safe and staying healthy and just believing that this too shall pass. So in order to bring some light into everything, I have decided to make a video about a puppy because Puppies are fantastic. So at the beginning of quarantine, my parents gave me a corgi puppy uh, as an early college graduation present since my college graduation got a little bit messed up and changed because of all the events that are happening. So I decided to see what kind of taste and makeup my new dog has. So his name is Winston, he is a corgi, he is 10 weeks old, and the love of my gosh dang life. A corgi has been my dream dog since I was in high school, so this has been a dream come true. So I am going to insert little videos of the products he chose and we're gonna do my whole face with it. Um, it was kind of a little bit nerve wracking because I had some funky products out there. I had like a black lipstick and a neon yellow eyeliner and some things I haven't used in a really long time. So we'll see what kind of look I can come up with and just jump right on into it. That was fast. You sure about that one? Mom hasn't used that one in a long time. She doesn't really like it. Okay, fine. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is face primer. And Winston chose the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is something that I just have a trial size of. I had heard really good things about it for people with dry skin and decided to give it a shot. I am a fan of it. I think it's it works well. It's not my favorite primer in the world, and it wasn't the favorite one of mine that I laid out for him to choose from, choose from. but it's not bad. It's good for dry skin. <gasps> that one? Okay. Primer is on, so the next thing I'm going to go in with is foundation. The foundation that Winston gravitated towards the most is by Milk Cosmetics. It is their stick foundation. Flex Foundation Stick is the formal name of it. is wanting to blend out too well, so we're gonna go in with a sponge and see if that works any better. Okay, so the foundation is on. Um, I have used this foundation before, obviously, because I own it, and I haven't ever been super crazy about it. One thing that I noticed about it that may be controversial to some people is that it has a very, very strong fragrance. It smells like like peppermint or essential oils kind of. Um, so I know a lot of people aren't super fond of having fragrance in their products, especially for things on their skin. So just to keep that in mind, it did not want to blend out too well with a brush. So I went in with a sponge and it started to work a little bit better, but I don't know. It's nothing special, but it's not horrendous. Okay, which one? I was a very proud mom with the next product that Winston chose because for concealer, he picked the Jeffree Star Concealer. I was very happy when he went to this one first. Okay, that's the coverage I needed to come and save the day. I am going a little bit heavier on the concealer just because my skin is breaking out. I'm not doing too great right now. So Jeffree Star is gonna come and save the day for us. Which one? You like them all. RCMA? Okay. Okay, the next product we're gonna go in with is setting powder. And the setting powder that Winston chose, he had a little bit of trouble with this one. He didn't know exactly what to choose. So it took him a minute, but 
he settled with the RCMA, uh, the original no color powder. This is something, I honestly think I got this off of Amazon because I had heard really good things about it. So I remember something I really did not like about this powder was the packaging because I really like to use sponges with setting powder, but you make do. Okay, this is fantastic. This is just incredible. <laughs> it looks like I just put powdered sugar all over myself. <sighs> Yay! Really? Oh, maybe not. Yep. Smashbox? Okay. For bronzer, Winston chose Smashbox. He chose the step by step contour palette. So I'm going to use this for both contouring and bronzing, but starting with bronzing and just going in with this middle shade. Next, I will be going in with a little bit more gray toned color in this palette to contour. Seriously? <laughs> Winston. <laughs> for blush, Winston chose an oldie but a goodie. It's from MAC. It, wow, you can barely even see it on here. It's Pinch Me, which is a sheer tone blush. And a little bit on the nose. I just dropped that and I dropped it face down and I don't know if it's shattered or not and I'm really scared to look. Good to go. Okay, hey, which one? Yeah, you like the circles. <laughs> oh, ooh, Julia's Place? Yeah? Mixture of both? Okay. Winston super struggled with picking a highlight, so we are going to go in with a mixture of two. One is by Juvia's Place and the other is by Wet n Wild and is a loose highlight. The Juvia's Place one was the only product hurt in the making of this video. And you can see there are a little bit of bite marks on it and even around the girl's faces a little bit. So I'm doing the Juvia's Place one a little bit more all over and then I'm going to do the Wet n Wild one just on the very tip top of my cheekbones because this one is very blinding. And I am going to go in with a smaller brush for a more concentrated look. The highlight is on, it is looking really nice and the Wet n Wild one is by, of course it's by Wet n Wild. It's called Mega Glow and this is something that is a little bit um, more glittery than shimmery but it still looks really nice and I'm a big fan. Okay, Winnie, which one? Ooh, good choice. We're now moving into eyes, and Winston, I was very proud of him, chose the P. Louise base as my eyeshadow primer. All right, Winston, this next decision is very important. Come here. This is a very important decision. Which one do we like? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. <laughs> the oldest palette of them all. Okay. Okay, for eyes, I don't know if Winston did me dirty or not. So he chose the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette. This was the very first eyeshadow palette I ever had. I got it when I was 12 years old, which <clears throat> was 10 years ago. So this palette is 10 years old and extremely expired. So we're gonna do what the dog wants and we're just gonna dive on it. later on when you see the color eyeliner that he picked up for me. Come on. Which one do you want? 
Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, now for what I think is gonna be the difficult part. Winston chose a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Great brand, great choice, great taste in makeup, super proud mom. He chose the reddish pink one. It's called Glamaroon and it's a liquid metallic eyeliner. It's gorgeous. I just don't think it pairs the best with Naked One, but I have hope. He shows potential. Here goes nothing. I really hope the camera just caught that. That was my shoulder popping. It's a sign I shouldn't be doing this graphic line look. I think that's as good as it's going to get. When using the Naked palette, I decided to just use, I mean, they're all neutral tones. Colors that can be found in a lot of other palettes nowadays. So since it's discontinued, you don't have to rely on this palette if you want to recreate this look. All you would need are some neutral browns, a cream shade, and then the pop of color, of course, is from Marc Jacobs. Any pop of color could work that you want to use. This is just how I decided to create Winston's look today. That one? You want the tarp one? Oh, you like five cosmetics. Which one? Uh-oh. Which one? <gasps> oh. Okay, Pat McGrath it is. For mascara, he chose a good one. He chose the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, so I was very proud of him for this one. Okay, come here, Winston. Pick out some eyebrows. The Cabral, good option. The next product I'm going in with is brows, and this is for Benefit. This is a Cabral. This is one of my most favorite brow products, so. I was very happy when he picked this. All right, come here, Winnie. Come on, pick a lip liner. That one? Okay. The next product I'm gonna go in with is by Milani. It is lip liner. And this is the, oh goodness. It's very rubbed off, that's what it is. The color statement lip liner in the shade 13, which is pretty pink which is not at all going to match the lipstick that he chose for me. So, the lipstick we're going in with is by YSL. It is a very red, orange red, that I was hoping would a little bit match the eyes, but really don't think it's going to. This is not what I expected it was. I have owned this for a couple months and have never used it because I'm the worst. Um, I got it from Sephora, the makeup convention I went to late last year and hadn't used it because of the color. I didn't think I would be using something like this, but it is the most slick and honestly kind of oily lip that I have ever used. It's in a lipstick, which makes things really difficult because I had him choose a lipstick and a lip gloss and this is practically a lip gloss. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like you can see how it even just rubbed off my top lip a little bit. The pigment is there, but by no means is it a traditional lipstick that I thought it would be. It's not matte, it's not satin, it's very slick. And I don't hate it. I just think with this type of a formula, I wouldn't buy a color this bold because it's gonna transfer really easily. But, Match the eyes a lot more than I thought it would. Come here. Which one do you want? <gasps> Good choice. Since I'm going to be a fair player and play by the rules, I am still going to go in with the lip gloss. This is from Kosas. It is a lip oil. Hey, come here, Winston. Pick out setting spray. <laughs> like that one? Okay. Nix it is. Last but not least, setting spray. Oh, um, it's the NYX matte finish spray. It was the seasonal one, but I guess the seasonal one is just the regular one with the sleeve on it. Oh my gosh. That sprayer, whew, she's harsh, okay. 
Okay, so this is the finished look of my puppy picking my makeup. There are a few surprises in here. This YSL lip, I thought it, because I hadn't used it before, I thought it was just a normal lipstick, maybe matte, maybe satin, but this oily, very wet look, I really like it. It's really comfortable on my lips. I know it's going to transfer, like, yeah, <laughs> not transfer resistant, but the color is pretty, it tastes amazing, and it honestly kind of matches the lids a little bit more than I thought it would. So I'm a fan. I think Winston has good taste. I think he has a lot to learn. Um, so maybe he'll like watch my channel or something. Probably not because he's so defiant. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I hoped it brought a little bit of joy to your life seeing some videos of a puppy and him trying to eat my makeup. Um, no products and no puppies were harmed in the making of this video. If you have any other ideas of anything you want to see, I'm literally just sitting in my home here quarantining, self-distancing. So... Leave them below in the comments. Give me some ideas of what y'all want to see next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.